live stuff. And I'm going to teach you how to put your iPod into restore mode so you can go back to factory settings. <coughs> Excuse me. What happens most of the time is you can't go to restore mode through iTunes. And that's because it's not really forced to restore. So I'm going to show you how to put it into restore mode man uh, manually. So you hold the sleep slash wake button until you get this. And then you slide this. Right? Until it's off, basically. And then... You take your iPod plug. And what you want to do is you want to hold the home button. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this. Well. Home button while plugging it in. And what will happen, you'll get the Apple logo. Yeah, sorry. It got... Um, it shut the photo would shut down because iTunes opened. So you should get this and basically plug in your iPod. And then what you should do is this. It'll say iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore the iPod before it can be used with iTunes. And you basically press OK. So I'm going to come back to you once I press OK. Alright, after you press OK, what you do is they'll take a, take you to a screen where you'll see a picture of your iPod, the name iPod, and everything will be NA, not applicable. So then you just click on the bottom, check for updates will be, um, will, will not be activated. So basically you have to go to restore mode, and you just press restore, and after that I'll, sh I'll bring you back to the video. After a while, after you click OK and you download all your stuff, you should have your iPod restored like this and I, mine was jailbroken before and now it's not it's just plain old iPod so that's how you restore your iPod uh, thanks for watching